Hi, it's Craig Howard here. I am in beautiful Montana along the Yellowstone River and um, we are just enjoying this beautiful scenery. This is right outside from the house we're staying in and if it's a little bit shaky it's because I'm having to hold the camera and I'm not using a tripod. But as I looked at this and I'm just going to kind of pan around so you can see I mean, it's just absolutely gorgeous. Um, we're right here in the in the Rocky Mountains, just outside of Yellowstone. And as I look at the beautiful scenery that's around me, um, it makes me just, I, I think about Job. Job was talking to somebody about God, and, and maybe this person was questioning God, and and he said, you know, ask, this is the Craig Howard version. It's in Job chapter 12, if you want to look it up. But Job said, you know, ask the birds of the air, ask the fish, ask the animals, ask the land itself. And it'll tell you that God is in control of everything, that God has made all of this, that nothing came about without the hand of God being in it. I wonder about people that can't look around. I mean, where I live back home in West Virginia, it's beautiful. It's absolutely breathtaking, and I love it there. But when I look around and see all the beauty that was created, what are the chances? What, what are the minuscule chances that all of this happened without a designer? That all of this just accidentally came into being? That all of this just accidentally happened? I mean... One in a hundred billion? I don't know. I mean, the odds are so far-fetched that all of this could be designed, not only that, that could come into being, not only into being, but into being in such an orderly, beautiful, organized fashion. If any of it's messed up, it's because man has messed it up, not because God messed it up in his design. So this morning, uh, look up Job chapter 12 if you get a chance. I can't look it up on my phone and use my phone to record. I mean, I can't read from my phone, and I didn't bring my tablet down here with me. I will tomorrow. But, uh, you know, it just is amazing to think about that none of this is accidental, and to think about God didn't have to make it like this. He didn't have to create all this beauty around us. He didn't have to make it like this. He could have made it ugly. He could have made it just a, a vast wasteland. But when I look around, you know what I see? I'm going to do something. I'll tell you what I see. I see a love letter from God. That's what I see. I hope you do too. God loves you so much that he did all of this for us. Well, I hope you have a great day today. I realize this is a little bit short, but uh, I'll try and do better tomorrow. God bless you, and I'll see you later.